welcome to this class. Let's consider electric field, electric field intensity and electric potential is an extension of our previous class on electrostatics. So let's look at the definition of each, um, do one or two solvents for each of them and then we we'll proceed. Now let's start with the first one here, electric field. Electric field by definition is a region where an electric force is experienced by a charged body. This is what you define as an electric field. Now usually an electric field is investigated by measuring the force on a small positive test charge. What's a test charge? A test charge is a charge that is so small that the force it exerts does not significantly alter the field it is testing. Alright? Now, if you want to draw a diagram for electric field, now we said we test uh, or we experiment on electric field by using what's called a test charge, which, which I um, defined earlier. Now, this is what we call electric lines and forces. All right. For instance, if I have a positive charge and a negative charge being brought together, we said from the first law of electrostatic that will be an attraction. This attraction causes an electric field to be built around them, and this electric field can be represented diagram diagrammatically using what is called electric lines of forces. Now, what, what are electric lines of forces? By definition, electric lines of forces are imaginary lines drawn in such a way that the direction at any point, that is, the direction of the tangent, is the same as the direction of the field at that point. We can, define, we can define electric lines of force as the path which an isolated small positive test charge would follow if placed in the field. That's how you define uh, the idea of electric field. Now usually, if I have, uh, if I have a positive and a negative charge. Now we said it will be an attraction of this manner, uh, this to this, uh, this one to this, uh, this to this, have this one going this way, have this one going this way. All right, so we said your direction is that to move from positive to negative, that's a direction. Right, so this is like a diagrammatic representation of an electric field. You have this. Okay, this is of this. Alright, so this is uh, what an electric field looks like. Alright, so this is how you represent an electric field in diagrammatic form. This is an um, electric field. Alright, so we have this. Alright, so that's the first one, electric field. Um, let's try the next one here. Yeah? Electric field intensity. Electric field intensity is also called the strength. By definition, the strength of an electric field or electric field intensity is E. Alright, this one here is um, E, electric field intensity or the strength of an electric field. But by definition, the strength of an electric field at any point is defined as the force per unit positive charge Q at that point. So it's simply force per unit charge. Um, so if you want to get this, um, in mathematical form, we said mathematically E is equal to force 
all over char falls in Newton, char in Coulomb. So the SI unit is Newton per Coulomb. So electric field is measured in Newton per Coulomb. So um, in a broader view, we said E is equal to F all over char is Q measured in Coulomb. Um, but, but from Coulomb's law, we set force F is equal to K. Um, let's say the force is here in broad bar. Now we set a positive test charge, this one here, and let's say another force. Without the idea of Q1 and Q2, we can still use the forces here as capital Q. This and small q, that's this. The distance here is R, still the same concept, the same concept, all right? So instead of using Q1, Q2, I'm using a capital Q and a small q. For this one here, then the, from Coulomb's law, the force of attraction becomes K, Q, Q, all over R squared from this whole set. So therefore, Therefore, we can say that E is equal to F all over Q. That will be equal to F. The value of F is K Q Q all over R squared divided, so divided by, we have Q here. So we have this Q. So here, the electric field intensity E is equal to K capital Q small Q all over R squared times change that to time because this is divided by Q by 1, same thing. So change that to times and then invert it becomes 1 all over Q. From here now, Q cancel Q. So E is equal to K capital Q all over R squared. So we have this. But we said K is equal to 1 all over. 4 pi e naught. So hence e is equal to k. That's 1 over 4 pi e naught times q all over r squared. Right. So k q over r squared. If I combine this, the electric field intensity e e is equal to 1 times q. That's q all over this 4 pi e naught r squared. So this becomes the um, formula for electric field intensity. Either you use the first one, which is f by q, same value, or the second one here, which is kq over r squared, still value, or the third one, q all over. 4 pi e naught r squared. Whichever one you have, um, the correct answer. And for each of these, the SI unit still remains Newton by Coulomb. So this is how um, this is the idea of electric field intensity. Finally, let's look at electric potential. So now let's look at electric potential. Uh, this one is generated by V. Right, right. So electric field is E. Electric field intensity is E. Electric field is this. Electric potential is V. So what then is electric potential? Electric potential V at a point is defined as the work done in bringing unity unit positive charge from infinity to that point against the electrical forces of the field. All right. Uh, mathematically, electric potential V is equal to work done, work all over charge. Work, of course, is measured in joule. Charge is coulomb. So SI unit is joule per coulomb. That is SI unit for electric potential. Now, this is one concept. Another concept is this. In trying to relate electric potential to 
electrophilic intensity, the relationship between electric potential and electrophilic intensity is given by E is equal to V all over R. So, with this one here, we can see that the electric potential V is equal to the product of the electric field intensity E and the distance of separation or distance given that's R. From this, we send electric field intensity, the SLU is using column or little per column. So, using per column multiply distance in meter. So that's equal to Newton meters from here, meters per column per hours. So the SI of the electric potential is Newton meter per column. That means electric potential B is measured in terms of joules per column is also equal to Newton meter per column. So any of this is the SI for electric potential. Let us dive deeper into electric potential. Alright, if we dive deep into electric potential, let's get a formula for it. We said electric potential V is equal to E times R, electric field times distance. Electric field from here, we said is equal to Q. Q. This is Q all over 4 pi e naught r squared. As I have here, this will now multiply r. That's just so electric potential V is equal to from here, distance r will cancel one r here. Yeah? That becomes Q all over 4 pi e naught r. So this becomes the formula for calculating the electric potential at any point. That's the formula. So if you look at these, they are very similar. They're very similar. Alright. These are the uh, these are the formula. I uh, will take some examples and work on these or each of them. Alright, so we'll take some examples and solve problems on electric field, electric field intensity. Now, question one says, two parallel plates are charged to a voltage of 20 volts or 40 volts. If they are separated by a distance of 10 centimeters, calculate the electric intensity between them. The solution, um, case one, list out given parameters. So they said the voltage by one is given the voltage V as equal to 40 volts. They said they are separated two by distance. So I'm giving the distance I as equal to 10.0 cm. Now my tax is simple. Convert distance from centimeters to meters. And that will be divided by 100. That's equal to 10 all over 100. That's equal to 0 0.1 meters. So I have this. Alright, I'm going to find, so find the electric intensity between them. So we said electric field intensity, that's E, is equal to V all over R. That's equal to, I have this as V is 40 all over R is. 0 0.1 when converted. If you punch it, it gives you 400. This is measured in. That's equal to 400. This is voltage in volts, um, distance in meter. Uh, volt per meter as an alternative SI to electric field, right? Yeah, so 400 volts per meter. All right, let's proceed. Another question here says, Calculate the potential at the point 40 cm. Calculate the potential at the point 40 cm from a charge 3 times 10 to the power minus 6, that's 3 microcoulomb. Take 1 over 4 pi e naught as um, 9 times 10 to the power 9 newton meters per coulomb squared. Alright, simple enough. 
uh, just list out the given parameters. Given Z at the point 40 cm. The first I'm giving there is that distance that R has been 40 cm convert to meter divided by 100. It gives you 0 0.4 meter. That's my best ask. Next up, it says from a charge number 2, I'm giving the charge. Charge that Q has been three times ten to the power minus Kulu. Um, also, we're given one over four pi e naught is equal to nine times ten to the power nine Newton meter square by Kulu square. All right. So we have to find the electric potential. So recall the electric potential V is equal to Q followed by 4 pi E naught R. We can simplify this. We can simplify it by saying V is equal to um, shifting this out by half 1 all over 4 pi E naught times Q all over R. And that's equal to this value. Is 9 times 10 to the 9 times Q. Q is 3 times 10 to the minus 6 all over R. R is 0 to the 4. Alright, so try not to find my little, uh, get my calculator out. If I try to multiply the numerator, I have 9 times 10 to the 9 times. 3 times 5 minus 6. That gives me 27,000 all over 0 0.4. That's equal to 67,500. That's the electric potential. So this is both. If you want to express this in index form, this becomes V equals to from here 1, 2, 3, 4. So I have to move 6.7. If the punch was here, I will move 1, 2, 3, 4. Because times 10 to the power 4 goes. So we have this. Alright, so what you have mentioned is the fact that electric potential is measured in goals or joules per coulomb or Newton meter per coulomb. Please take it of this. So let's measure has three units, right? Joules per coulomb, Newton meter per coulomb, or volts. Any of this works. So this is how you solve this question.